Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back and Merry Christmas to you all. Uh, today I am super excited. I have been playing with this wildflower series and this wildflower technique that I've come up with and I'm really excited about it. I've, I've had so much fun. The first one we did was the 24 by 24 with the dark blues and the purples and the Payne's gray and it was really beautiful. And then we did this one which you saw the other day. This one is Wildflower in Paradise. And I wanted to show you guys the dried result because I think it came out so pretty. Just beautiful colors and lines. That pop of orange and that pop of purple. Really, really fun. And this was the Triple Decker? Yeah, Triple Decker Wildflower Pour. So today we're gonna go bigger. <laughs> go and, bigger, uh, go home, baby. That's right, exactly. And we have some beautiful colors that I'm really, really excited about. So let's get go ahead and get started. This is a 36 by 36 gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have painted the sides and edges with my titanium white, which is gonna be my base coat color. And I have taped and pinned the back. Okay, so that's ready. <laughs> you want kisses? I do. <laughs> Merry Christmas, darling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so silly. All right, the first one we are using is Golden's Prussian Blue. Go away, bug. Golden's Prussian Blue. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol tonight with a slug of Elmer's Glue all added in there just to keep the shape of my lines and keep it a little bit thicker. Not super thick though. Mound on a mound and then sinking into itself pretty quickly. Okay, Golden's Prussian Blue. And then we have Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, which I absolutely love. Gorgeous. Okay, and then we are using Golden's Quinacridone Crimson for some pop. Beautiful, beautiful color, this one. Okay, and then we have our Titanium White. Okay. And then I am using my Decorate Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And Amsterdam Bronze. You can use both of these. When in doubt, use both, right? <laughs> okay. And then I have also here, for the second cup that we're going to do, I have these two. I have these two colors, which I was inspired by my good friend Nate Bright from Nate Bright Art. He did his five golden rings piece for the 12 Days of Christmas collab. And one of the rings he poured was the um, permanent maroon with the pyro orange. And it was just so beautiful. It was gorgeous. So that's what we're going to be doing for our second cup. This is the pyro orange. And there's the permanent maroon. Such a cool color. Most of the color of my sweater. <laughs> it's actually Joey's sweater. My I was looking for a headband or something and my daughter said, Mom, you could wear my sweater. And I said, oh, I don't want to get paint on it. And she goes, no, it's okay. I like having paint on it. <laughs> We're going to try not to get it too dirty though. Okay, so those are the colors. The game plan is to layer one cup with these colors over here and the white and the gold. And then the other cup is going to be the permanent maroon and the orange and the bronze and the white. So it should be really, really cool. Okay, let's do this. Let's see. So I definitely want the white in the middle. Move that over a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna put the white in the center chamber because I really like how that makes everything else look like it's floating on top of it, especially if we have a white base coat down. And we're going to put the quinacridone violet on one side. And I think the, what did you get? Cups, okay. Cups. The permanent violet dark on the other side. Baxi, can you sit down please? And then, okay, you sit, Baxter sits. Thanks. We're gonna put the Prussian blue. Good boy. HOA, what do you think? Should I layer these two chambers in the center with the Prussian blue and the white and the gold, or should I just do one whole one Prussian? Probably one Prussian and layer the other one. There you go. That's exactly what I was gonna say. All right, I'm gonna 
which I think. Maybe I'll do a little bit of pressure on the bottom of both of them. I was gonna say that too. <laughs> that was my B plan. Yeah. <laughs> and a little bit of white on each of them, just a little bit. And then let's use the gold. And then we'll put one more small layer of Prussian blue on top of both. It's going to be an interesting cut, that's for sure. Okay, so that's the first one ready. And then the second one, again, we're going to put the white in the middle. Okay, I may not fill this one up all the way. And we're going to put the pyro orange on one side. And that permanent maroon on the other side. Get it out of your system, dog, before we start pouring it. Out. Okay, we're going to put some bronze on either side of this one, I think. Let's layer the bronze and the gold too, because I like the way that that looks. Okay. Alright, so now both of our cups are ready to go. I'm going to put some of my titanium white down as a base coat. Alright. Okay, let me bring this down a little bit. So I think I'm going to pour some in the center first. And then I'm going to thin this part down a little bit more. this out real quick Let's even this out I do want more paint right there in the middle because that's where we're gonna do our initial wildflower thing but I want to have the edges wet also so everything can slide easily and I have an idea for something that I want to do for the negative space part you know thanks so back oh he's agreeing no oh, he's agreeing he likes the idea <laughs> This works just real quick. Dennis. Pull it down. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our first cup and we're going to do that wildflower pour, which is the variation of the wandering wing pour. And then we're going to use the other cup and then we're going to switch back to this one and then we're going to use the other one. Baxter? Okay. Let's do this before Baxter gets any more ideas. Okay, Joy, we're going to do one row across here first. Okay. Like about there. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesome? Yes, my love. I am ready. <laughs> here we go. Okay. I think I'm going to do one more, a couple more going this way. 
Okay, <laughs> that's beautiful. I love it. Okay, now we're going to take the second cup and we're going to do a layer of kind of overlapping just a little bit. Are you ready, Daddy? Yes. That's cool. And we'll go back to the first cup again. And we're going to do one more. Are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. You can get Okay, that's cool. I'm happy. I love this. It's so pretty. Baxter, come on, dude. All right. Uh, let's tilt this out a little bit. I'm just going to spread this out here. He's ripping his dog bag. Baxter, no. Baxter, you're going to be on the naughty list, dude. Okay. Baxter, no, buddy. Wow, that's so pretty. Can you kind of get a close-up shot of that? No, oh, I do. Okay, so we definitely... I don't want to keep all of it. <laughs> Let's stretch it out and open it up and see what happens. Let's put a little bit more whatever we have left. Around here, you give it something to slide on. Make sure it moves easily. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's find the way to paint, and we're gonna walk it down gently. I'm kind of stretching this edge out first is because I want to make sure that I get the paint all the way over there. I'm probably gonna just take a little bit of white off the edge and now we're gonna come back. So we're gonna push this back towards the center. Way a little bit. This is so pretty over here where it's stretching out, HA. Uh -huh. It's nice and slow, we're not rushing. I do want some negative space over there on that corner, but I'm gonna take it over the edge first and then I'm gonna bring it back. I'm getting the white off right now first. I'm distributing that paint evenly. back sharply in the other direction. This is usually the part where I decorate myself. <laughs> We're going to bring that down and open up the top. Back towards the middle. A 
the way that the paint is about here now and I want to take some of this off. to get rid of any more of this I'm going to take some off there down there at the bottom where it's okay, okay. it's looking pretty cool now, there's one thing that I wanted to do real quick to these corners let me actually have not come off of this edge over here I see the canvas where I painted it, but I don't want to leave that there. So we're going to go off to that corner now real quick. Find the way that the paint is all down here. Back a little bit up. And let it come down, and then we're just going to go right off that side. There, it should all just come down and push because this is still bare right over here. That's not good. I don't want that. Just let this float down. since we have the weight lined up right there now. All right, now there's the one thing that I wanted to do. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in what's left in my white here. And this one too. Gonna make sure that those two corners on the top are good. You can see that right here. That's not good. We do want that. Okay. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this white and I'm gonna put it like about here. Lower. I'm going to blow it off the edge. That works really well. Do the same thing on this we have the leaf blower out, there is something that I want to do. Let's do this side first. I'm going to take this Golden's Interference Gold Fine. Can you see that, HOA? Mm -hmm. I'm going to just put a little bit of it directly here on the canvas. In a very thin stream. Take the blower. I'm gonna blow that too. Ready? Mm 
That's very cool. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on that corner too. I'm liking that. What do you think, Penny? Mm-hmm. Okay. You might need to do a little bit more on this side then. This side? Yeah. Let's see. Just pick any of it. Yeah. That's what you call it. Sure, you're happy. <laughs> no. That's what you call it thorough. <laughs> okay. I like this. Interesting that that um, permanent maroon looks a little brown right now, but it's that beautiful maroon color. So I think it's going to work really, really well ultimately. I do like the orange in there. I love the quinacridone violet and the permanent violet dark and the Prussian blue. Um, I can see the bronze. And I can see the 24 karat gold. So all of our colors are showing up. That's pretty. The only thing that maybe I would do would be to blow out a little bit more sections in here to kind of match this a little bit. This is pretty cool. I'm liking it a lot. I hope you guys do too. And I will show you when you when it's dry. I'll show you when it's dry. <laughs> um, HOA and I and our girls wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season and a happy Hanukkah and happy everything that you can celebrate. So thank you for being here with us. We'll be right back. Okay, so here's the dried results. <laughs> This one turned out really, really cool. I'm loving this wildflower technique. It is so much fun. I'm loving all of these gorgeous colors. So this one was a little different because we also used our leaf blower to blow out these edges, which I just really love the way this looks. It's so pretty. And that little bit of the golden iridescent gold up there, blinging softly, mellowly. Really pretty stuff in here, I love this. That gorgeous permanent violet dark, the Prussian blue, a little bit of maroon in there, some of that pyrrole orange. Oops, what happened? There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> really cool stuff though. Uh, this one turned out really, really fun. I actually really like that gold up on the top. Almost looks like gold leaf. Really, really neat stuff. So this is our, I think this one looks like a bouquet going to be wildflower bouquet that's a 36 by 36 pretty cool stuff in here I love that orange the maroon dried so nice and deep and dark really really pretty and the Prussian blue of course and the quinacridone violet beautiful stuff really cool stuff and I like these these blowouts in the center too sort of some added depth as if they're in the foreground of the bouquet. I don't know, maybe they're uh, snapdragons. <laughs> so this is Wildflower Bouquet. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. You guys have made this year so wonderful and I appreciate every single one of you. I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for inspiring me and pushing me and 
encouraging and all your support and all your love and you guys you're just amazing so i hope you have a very very merry christmas tonight is actually christmas eve and uh we're cooking and rapping away and <laughs> playing games and singing carols and it's a lot of fun and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day too with your loved ones and celebrating however you celebrate and uh, we wish you all a very very merry christmas and we'll see you real soon thanks for being here with us Bye-bye.